Sky high construction costs are slowing down plans. In some cases, organizations could be paying more than double the amount originally budgeted. The I team found out how the construction costs are affecting new schools and affordable housing. Typical framing job of one of these houses is six thousand. Now it's twelve. Yes, just for just for the basic framing of the framing lumber. Jen Parks, who runs Chicago's Habitat for Humanity, saw a lumber crisis coming. As prices soared in the spring, the organization charged ahead with a new phase of affordable homes here in the West Pullman neighborhood. I'm really grateful to my team who was in front of it to say we need to buy now, so we staved off further increases. They overbought lumber when prices doubled, which saved them from having to buy again as prices tripled later in the summer. That decision kept them on track to build those 14 new homes. Lumber prices have recently dropped, some giving parks some relief for future projects, but other construction costs remain high. Well, concrete continues to rise in price, so every time we put in a foundation, that concrete expenditure is, has gone up about 13% over normal. Um, we've seen the same thing with um, copper, you know, putting in copper plumbing. The steel industry, the copper industry uh, are also facing similar, you know, price issues. A lot of that is, you know, due to these, you know, the kinks in the supply chain. For some companies, it's an issue with labor. Economist Sean Corey from Loyola's Quinlan School of Business says the pandemic hit the supply chain hard. A lot of the raw material costs that we use for home construction is imported from other countries where the vaccine is not readily available and therefore their factories are at or have either shut down or are at reduced capacities. There are three construction projects underway in Elmhurst School District 205 that are now over budget Thanks to the rising costs, millions will need to be added to the project budget to cover the 21% cost increase since voters approved a bond for the plan back in 2018. If you're building a home, see if you can lock in construction costs up front in the contract. Financial experts at Forbes Advisor say the record low interest rates may offset higher construction prices. Come on upstairs. Habitat hopes costs will eventually come back down to keep on track with next year's plan to continue revitalizing neighborhoods. Long term, the, the concern is how many homes can we continue to build and can we stay at that, you know, at that double digit level? Can we continue to do 11 and 15 and ultimately get to 20 or more homes a year? If those costs continue to rise year over year, we're going to really struggle. Experts say it's anyone's guess as to when construction prices will come back down, if ever. The industry is also facing shortages in skilled workers like electricians, plumbers and carpenters, which also increases labor costs. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.